Oh, hello, wild ones. I'm here in the woods today with a bright red 21 pound tent. Let's do it. So this is the Eurohike Toco 2 two-person single skin tent. It weighs 1.54 kilos, easy to pitch apparently, and is bright red, which is my main concern at the moment that I'm gonna get seen. What with it being the very start of April and there's just no foliage to cover me and give me shelter. So I've chosen this obscure little spot where I don't think I'm gonna be seen, but I'll stick it up and then I'll go and have a look around and check that I'm not visible. So yeah, let's get this bad boy up. You know what? This is the weirdest stealth camp I've ever done. We're really close to paths here. I mean, down south where I live, I'm always really close to paths, so I've had to learn to blend in. This doesn't blend in. So we've got some fairly thin fiberglass poles, two sets. So these poles, they just go through these little black loops and then through these sleeves as well. There. How would you get it in? I feel like I'm going to break it. Oh, yes. One in. Look at that. It's starting to take shape. I'm just going to get this bit in here. Gotta get this in there, but <gasps> oh god! Oh wait! Oh god! I feel like I'm gonna snap the poles. I'm doing something wrong. Come on! Yeah. I suppose that's why it's light. It's so little. You can almost imagine it's like one of the red hilly bugs. So what I'm going to do before I peg this in or do any more to it is have a look around from the paths and see if I can see this. So let's go have a look. Okay, let's head over this direction first. So down there on the main path, you can see the very, very top of it, but you wouldn't notice it. So I think it'll be completely invisible from down there. But look, I mean, from here, it's really obvious. Down there on the path, you can't see it, but the paths I'm most concerned about are these ones. So let's go have a little look here. on the path you know what oh, I can't see it oh yeah I can I can just see the very very top of it oh, I don't think I'd notice it from here let's have a look further down can't see it from here oh no look okay that's bad yeah that's really bad really really clear okay so it's Pretty well hidden from that direction and that direction is fine but over there got like a full frontal view of it so I'm gonna peg this in and then try and camouflage it in some way I might grab a load of dead ferns and branches and stuff and try and make sort of a mound in front of the tent to block it from the path let's 
Got a little hut. Ah, nice. That's pretty cute. Haven't been inside yet, but I think the first priority is gonna to be to try and conceal it a bit from that direction. So there's loads of dead ferns here. I think I'm gonna grab a load and try and make like a mound here next to that tree and see if I can make a bit of coverage that way. Let's do it. on the path here and that little fern wall is completely hidden my little tent which is very cool I'm quite happy with that I feel a lot more concealed now so let's get inside and take a look at this cheap little tent hello tents oh, not, not overly long actually not long at all. Uh, oh, okay. A couple of pockets. Little hook up here for a light. Nice thick floor. Old school thick floor. Seams have been taped. We've got ventilation up here, although I've got it covered with my hoodie at the moment, so I'll take that off later. So this mat literally only just fits in the tent. Hi Lani. I've bought a bivy bag today because this is a single skin tent and I think it might be nightmarish with the condensation. It's looking pretty cozy in here. So there is no vestibule on this tent at all. So everything's gotta come in. Boots, rucksack, that's okay. Only thing is, if it rains, as you can see, the water's just gonna come straight into the tent if the door's open. So, can't have doors open in the rain, which is a shame. It's gonna be really claustrophobic in there. And really condensation-y. I did think about bringing a small tarp to go over the entrance for that reason, but I thought it kind of defeated the object of camping in a cheap tent. And I wanted to have an authentic cheap tent experience. So that's what I'm doing. So far, so good. Just cooking my dinner. I've got gorgeous homemade Thai pad kapow, so that's gonna be really nice. There's a little bit of rain, nothing too heavy or anything, but it's a little bit difficult with this tent because there's no vestibule and the door's so sort of deep that the rain just comes in. But I'm in my waterproof. I've got my waterproof bivy bag over my sleeping bag, so it's fine. As I say, it's only a little bit of rain in the air, really, so it's okay at the moment. Yeah, it's not ideal though. Oh yeah, it's gonna be good. Mm. God. Everything's steaming up in here like crazy now. The rain stops. Thank God. I was getting quite a stiff neck, hunched up in there, eating my dinner. Now I can sit and have my hot drink and my chocolate pudding. It's a gorgeous night now. It's lovely and still. I'm gonna have this and then I'm gonna get to bed. So I'll see you guys in the morning and we'll see how this tent holds up through the night. Bye.
Good morning. It is a lovely damp morning in the woods. I think I slept pretty well, six, seven hours. So yeah, really pleased. I mean, this tent is tiny. And if you're anything above five foot eight, you're not gonna fit in it. <laughs> I kind of, my head was touching the door and my feet were touching that end. And with it being single skin and being really covered in condensation, it's not ideal. Some of my stuff is damp from condensation, but that would be the case in any single skin tent. So just had to wipe it up this morning. So yeah, small condensation issues, but that's to be expected. My main issue with it is it being bright red. It's the only color I could find this in. And it makes me feel really on edge being in the woods in a bright red tent, I feel really, really visible. I seem to have pulled it off, but I'm looking forward to getting it packed away so that no one can see me. <laughs> and I mean, it's down as a two man, but that's not a two person tent. There's no vestibule, so your stuff has to be inside the tent. There just wouldn't be physically enough room for two people and your gear. It'd be impossible. But yeah, overall, really pleased this went a lot better than I thought it would. Of course, I don't know how it would do in real bad weather. We only had some light rain, which it did fine in, so it would be interesting to put it out. <laughs> it's terrible weather. Let's see what happens there. But yeah, I'm gonna have some breakfast and I'm gonna get packed up and on my way. So thanks for watching this, guys, and I will see you again soon. Bye. One good thing about this tent, it's really easy to flatten if you can hear people coming. I feel nice and stealth now.